Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new, hello, welcome to my channel. So for today's video, we're gonna be testing out the new ColourPop and Tinkerbell collection. I know ColourPop launches a lot, we all know that, but I will say their collections lately have been so cute and their detail never goes unnoticed. Like I love everything about a lot of their new collections lately, especially I feel like they're super nostalgic and this is adorable. So I saw this and I, first of all, loved the packaging, loved everything about it, but I loved the green tones in here. I think this is going to be so fun to do some early fall makeup looks and I know we still have like a month left just about until it's like officially fall but in my eyes it's never too early. So we're going to do a makeup look, some swatches and we're going to talk about the collection and I'll let you guys know my thoughts. So definitely grab a snack, get cozy and let's play with some ColourPop and Tinkerbell makeup. Alrighty so I'm going to start with my lids. I'm just going to prime them and prep for eyeshadow and then of course we're going to do a makeup look. So I actually did already swatch these eyeshadows I will leave swatches right here so you guys can see all of the colors but they look really really good and I have to say also this packaging is so nice it's a little bit heavier than more traditional packagings that I've tried from ColourPop the pans are a little bit bigger the mirror feels a little bit heavier okay so I just primed the lids I used the NYX proof it waterproof eyeshadow base now we're gonna jump straight into eyeshadow so I'm gonna start off with the color right up here this one is big magic and I'm gonna start working that in the crease just as a transition shade I'm gonna build it up so far so good I like the undertone to it it's a really pretty mauve color Then I'm going to go into the shade right here, which is Neverland, and this is just like a deep shimmery green. It looks so pretty, so I'm going to take that all over the lid. So I like to dip my brush and then spray it normally, but you know what? Let me actually see how the color payoff is on the shade just on its own with a brush just without spraying it first. I'm going to put this... Oh, okay, wow, it's actually pretty pigmented, or very pigmented, I should say. Without any spray, that's actually very impressive. So I am gonna spray my brush just because I feel like it, that always helps with any eyeshadow, whether it's drugstore or high-end, it just makes it pop, and it just makes the color a little bit more metallic. So I'm gonna spray my brush. I'm gonna just go right over that, and just kind of emphasize that green a little bit more. Just gonna take a clean little blending brush and just kind of blend the edges of this out a little bit. I love this color, it is so pretty. Then I'm gonna go into the shade Awake with my little tiny fluffy blending brush from Alamar. And I'm just gonna start kind of applying that shade on the outer crease. Since this color is so dark, I feel like sometimes with like really dark colors like that, it can be a little bit intimidating to go in with it without any shimmer on your lid. So that's why I applied the shimmer first. That way I can kind of like add in that matte teal or matte green actually. Kind of looks like it could be a little bit teal, but when you apply it, it's more of like a deep forest green, but it's a little bit easier I feel like to work with colors like this when you have a shimmer down already because then you can kind of blend it in with the shimmer and it just looks a little bit more seamless versus just going in with the color alone. And I'm just adding a little bit more of that green shimmer just with my finger. You can also use your fingers and you'll get a really pretty finish as well. You do have to be careful with this teal, I will say. I feel like if you're not careful, it can look a little bit splotchy. So you have to really take your time with it. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the shade Pixie Dust right here just with my finger. I'm going to take that right on the center and kind of just blend that out meshing it in with the matte color and then with the shimmery green it's just going to add a little bit of lightness right to the center so pretty Also, there is some fallout, which I feel like is inevitable, especially when you are heavy-handed like myself. 
I don't think it's actually as bad as you would think, but I'm loving the way this looks. I really do love these colors. They layer really nicely. They blend really easily. Again, the only color that I feel like you should be a little bit careful with is the teal color because I feel like if you go in with too much product or too big of a brush, the color can look a little bit splotchy and it can be very difficult to work with. So I always say like less is more, especially when you're dealing with darker colors like this one. But once you blend it in with the shimmers and like if you really take your time with it, it's a gorgeous shade and it builds up really, really nicely. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of the eyes. I'm gonna just apply some lashes. I'm gonna finish up the rest of the face and then we'll come back and I'm gonna swatch the lip colors for you, the eyeliners, and I also have three single eyeshadows and some blushes as well. But I'm gonna finish up the rest of my makeup and then go from there. So I'll see you guys in one second. So jumping back into the Sprinkle A Little Magic eyeshadow palette. First, I'm gonna start off actually with the outer corner and I'm gonna actually jump into the color sleep and I'm gonna smudge that on the loader loader outer part of the lower lashes oh this is stunning it's like a lighter green it's not as deep as obviously the shade that I have on the outer crease but it's still really cute Then I'm gonna take the shade Place Between. This is a gorgeous like shimmery mauve. This would be a really pretty lid color as well. But I'm gonna take that right on the inner part of the lower lashes. I'm also kind of blending it in a little bit with the green, but again, that color is going to be mainly in the inner part. And then for the inner corners, I'm gonna go into the shade Small Fairy, which is a shimmery gold. I'm gonna take that right, right in the inter, inter, inner corners. Wow, I'm a little rusty today with my words. I can't get them out right. I didn't even like spray my brush. I'm just going in with this color also dry. Now we have two cream gel liners and both of these actually look really, really good. They kind of look like they're lippy pencils, but in eyeliner form. Normally I'm used to seeing their liners, like the retractable type liners that look like this. And these are the cream gel liners, but these are the BFF ones. So I don't know if maybe since these are just traditional cream gel liners and not like the BFF line, they're a little bit different as far as the packaging, but these look like they're lip liners. So I think what I'm gonna do, cause I don't have anything to do after this video, I'm gonna do one liner on one eye and then the green on the other just so we can see both and what they look like. So I'm gonna start with the brown, which this one is in the shade Lost Girl and I will swatch both of these for you. So up top we have Fly Girl and then on the bottom, Fly With Me. So let's start with the green. Okay, with this color you have to go over your waterline a couple times, so mm, that's weird. Well, I got the little particles inside my eye, but I don't really get a lot of color payoff actually from these on my actual waterline. The swatches are pretty and I get like a little bit of color like right on the lash line, but it's so, so light, but like right on the waterline, the color isn't like really rich and pigmented like their other liners are. I'm just gonna apply some black liner to my waterline. The liners definitely made my eyes a little bit sensitive, so just a little, FYI there, just because I went over my waterline so much. And that's only because I wanted to see if the color was gonna show up. Maybe I had to get past the first layer, I don't know, but the liners just barely showed up on my waterline. I also don't really love, I mean, this color right here in Lost Girl is really pretty, but I'm not crazy about the glitter underneath, although it looks beautiful. I think if you have super sensitive eyes, the little glitters are kind of bound to get stuck inside your eyes. Like I kind of feel them in my eyes right now. If you have sensitive eyes, you know that it's just hard to use things like this because the little glitter particles are bound to get stuck everywhere. I feel like even if you don't have sensitive eyes, that's kind of just something to keep in mind. But yeah, although these are pigmented, they don't seem to be showing up on my waterline. So the last thing I'm gonna do for the eyes is really just some mascara. I'm gonna use the Essence Lash Princess. So, so far, loving the eyeshadow, not loving the liners. But we're gonna test everything else out and see how everything looks. So then in the collection, we do have three of these Super Shock shadows. These look gorgeous. If you guys are familiar with their Super Shock formula, these feel just as buttery, just as creamy, and they're very pigmented. Really pretty, and all three of these shades are very glittery, just really buttery to the touch. But I really don't feel like these are 100% necessary if you are getting the palette, unless you really absolutely love these colors. Do you feel like the green is very similar to like the green that I have on on my lid a little bit, which I feel like honestly, I could probably maybe add a little bit more. So 
So let's add this one. I'm gonna take this just with my finger and I'm just gonna pop that right back into the center. I feel like this light green, which by the way is in the shade straight on till morning, is super similar to the shade that I had on my lid from earlier from the palette. So it's beautiful, but again, I just don't feel like you need the singles if you have the palette. I'm gonna do a little swatch comparison of the single green versus the one in the palette. So the one on the top is the one from the palette and then the one on the bottom is the single Super Shock Shadow. So the one on the top, which is the one in the palette, is a little bit lighter, but they're both essentially like very similar green tones. So really the cranberry shade and then this lighter pink are the two like unique shades, but I really don't feel like they're 100% necessary unless you absolutely love these colors. I'm actually gonna use this lighter shade in the inner corners. I know I already used the gold, but this is so pretty and I feel like it might be a little bit more fitting with the look. So this one is in Fly to Your Heart. And I'm gonna just use that right over top. Do a little brow on highlight because why not? But yeah, these are all really pretty nonetheless. I personally prefer palettes though over single shadows like this, but they are really stunning shades. I think it just comes down to, do you really need them in your collection or not? Okay, now we have blush and lip products. So these are these Super Shock Cheek blushes. I have three colors right here today. So this one right here, which is the lightest shade in Happy Thoughts, looks more of like a highlighter for my skin tone, but these two over here look like blushes. Okay, so again, first color we have is Happy Thoughts. This is like a shimmer light pink this is definitely going to be a like highlighter on my skin tone it's really really pretty this could also be an eyeshadow as well so it's kind of like a two-in-one product I'm gonna go ahead and just apply this with my finger right to the tops of my cheekbones oh that's pretty this formula is so seamless it really just melts into the skin I actually like this a lot more than I thought I was going to like it. It's so pretty. I'm gonna do some of my cupid's bow as well. Ooh. Love, and then for the other two blushes, I'm gonna do again, one on one side, one on the other, so we can see how the colors look. Next color that we have is in Magic Moon. This is a bright coral, and then the other one is in Darling, and this is more of like a deeper, warm, like terracotta shade. So I'm gonna start with the color Magic Moon on this side, and this is a ColourPop F14 brush. Oh, this is pretty. This is actually a lot more wearable than I feel like what it looks like in the pan. And mixing it in with the highlighter, because I'm kind of blending it upwards, it makes a really pretty glow. Then on the other side, I'm gonna switch brushes. This one I got from TJ Maxx years ago. It's very similar to the ColourPop F14. It's just a different brand. But I'm gonna use the color Darling on the other side. So Darling is a little bit more muted on the skin. You can see this one is definitely a lot more bright. And this one is more of just like a bronzy, muted, warm shade. I actually surprisingly like this color more than this shade. It's a little bit, I mean, not that I don't love bright colors like this, but I feel like with this look and just like for fall, I can see myself using this color a lot more. So I like them both. I think they're both really pretty. It just really depends on the kind of look that you're going for. So this is that terracotta blush. And then this one is, again, Magic Moon. This is the brighter color. So even just like swatching them on my fingers, you can see one is obviously a lot more brighter than the other. So we have Magic Moon up top, and then we have Darling on the bottom. Darling is my personal favorite shade, and I also really do like the highlighter, even though it's more pinky, and I normally go for things that are more golden. I think it's a really wearable highlighter, and you can also use it as an eyeshadow, which is nice too. So final thing we're gonna do are lips, and I have two different lip colors right here. I have the Glossy Lip Stains. I've never tried these before. So we have the shade Tinkerbell, of course, and Clap If You Believe. So Tinkerbell is on the right, which is gonna be your left, and then Clap if you believe is the more kind of natural rose shade. I feel like Tinkerbell is a little bit more pink. So Tinkerbell is definitely more on the pink side and then Clap If You Believe is more on the kind of like warm orangey side. And this is the color Clap If You Believe because I want to go in with something a little bit less pink. I think it's just supposed to give your lips like a stain but it's supposed to have like a kind of a glossy type formula which I feel like 
it kind of doesn't these actually don't look super glossy on the lips and it kind of stains a little bit too as i apply it. i don't know why so this is another kind of one of those personal preference things because i really don't love lip stains i would rather just use like a regular lipstick or a liquid lipstick like stains are just not my vibe so these not my favorite. I guess I'll try the other color now just to show you guys what it looks like since we're here. Let's try the shade Tinkerbell. I can see where they're going with it and I see the concept of stains and why maybe so many people like them, but they're just not for me. So the stain also, by the way, does both of these actually have some glitter to them. So you can kind of see the glitter particles on the lips as well. So yeah, this is not for me, the color, the finish, the formula. It's just not my kind of thing. So I did end up changing out my lip color because I was just not feeling those lip stains at all. So if you're wondering, on my lips right now, I am wearing the Milani Understatement Lip Liner in Cafe Olay. This is is one of my all-time favorites it is such a good like brown nude perfect for fall and then I have on in the center of my lips the dose of colors liquid lipstick in the shade super natural and then I top that off with the NYX this is milky lip gloss in the shade milk and honey so that is pretty much it for ColourPop X Tinkerbell final thoughts I really love the eyeshadow palette and the blushes the most everything else for me is kind of more of a miss like I'm just not really a fan of it it didn't work for me or I just don't really feel like there are a in my makeup collection personally. So starting off with the lip stains, I really just don't like these. I don't like the colors. I don't like the finishes of them. And for me, the concept, it just, it's not there for me. These are just not products that I use in my collection. But if you like lip stains, you might like these. But again, they do have glitter in them. So be prepared. If you like glitter, then maybe you would like these as well. I'm not a fan of these personally. The liners are so pretty, but they did not show up on the waterline for whatever reason. I don't know. I never really have issues with liners from ColourPop. They always seem to show up, but these for some reason, reason just didn't. The colors are gorgeous, but not for me, unfortunately, because they didn't show up. These Super Shock shadows are beautiful. I will say if you are looking for colors like this, or if these are something that you are interested in, they're definitely stunning. I would 100% recommend them, but for me, I recommend the palette over the shadows. The palette is stunning. I used as many of the colors as I could, and I'm very impressed with the quality. I think this is a really fun green palette. This is a really nice palette. I love it if you're looking for something new or green in your collection. And my other favorites were the cheek products. I love the blushes. My favorite one is the shade Darling. I think this is such a pretty everyday color. Kind of warm and bronzy and also buildable. Very pretty. I love the formula. This one is really nice as well. It's a little bit brighter, but I love more like muted colors in the fall time. So for me, the shade Darling is like perfect. So I would recommend this unless you're looking for something brighter than I would go with Magic Moon. But the highlighter is also really, really pretty. I haven't used their Super Shock cheek products in quite some time and I forgot how nice the formula is. It's really easy to work with and kind of blend and maneuver on your skin. I love the fact that you can use your fingers also with these. And yeah, that is pretty much it for this collection. So I have some favorites and some products that I would personally pass on, but I'm curious to hear your thoughts. If you guys have tried any of the products from this collection, did you pick anything up? Are you planning on it? Let me know down below in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye.